Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now that we've got the new seals installed on the back of the block and we've got the transmission reassembled with new seals and solenoids, we're ready to put it back in the car. So let's get to work. First, we'll need to install the torque converter. Then we'll replace that broken transmission mount. And there you can see that one is ripped. So we will put this new one in and we're good. All right, we're ready to go up with the transmission. I am gonna have to drop the car a little bit. Okay, let's get a couple of these bolts started. These bottom ones. I'm gonna try and start these ones on the top. And this plate has uh, backing nuts. So, you got to put this plate in on this side. All right, well my battery died, but I did get the transmission all mounted in. All of the bell housing bolts are in and torqued, as well as the transmission mount. All right, so we're ready to put the torque converter bolts back on. I just need to line up the torque converter and the flex plate. We've got the socket on the front of the crankshaft. Now let's turn the motor over. There it is. Once we get all these snug, then we'll, we'll torque them down. And that is to 45 Newton meters. Next, we'll install the transmission cooler lines, but I want to suck out the transmission fluid first. I'm going to use this tool to suck all the fluid out of the line. Vacuum is created inside this tank by hooking up compressed air. I've got the new O-rings placed on the lines. So let's get these up there. Now we'll remount the shifter cable. Reconnect all of the harnesses and sensors. All right, now let's get the drive shaft in. So we've got the front bolt, the rear bolt, and then a center support right here. And before I took it off, I marked so it would be in line with where it was before. See the white mark here corresponds to a mark up here. All right, so the next thing we need to do is install the heat shields. We've got these heat shields right here, but I wanna clean those up as well as all the other pans that go on the bottom of the car. So I'm just gonna quickly spray them down with some degreaser and wipe them as clean as possible. So let's do that. Okay, now that we've got those all cleaned up, we're gonna start putting them in the car. We've got one on this side, one on this side, and then one down the center. Here. 
So now, let's get the exhaust. All right, so this is a vacuum line that feeds a valve on the end of the exhaust, but most of it is pretty deteriorated. I've got a small piece of the same size, so I'm just gonna cut that section out. Use a little coupler and then just at least replace the worst of it down here. There we go. Now I'll install the exhaust system. Just make sure everything is lining up. All right, we're ready to fill the transmission. So we've got the drain plug here and the fill plug is right here on the passenger side above these two little tabs. It is an eight millimeter Allen. So let's remove that. All right, so now that we've got the fill plug removed, we're gonna start pumping in the transmission fluid. We will initially pump in the fluid until it starts to spill out of the fill hole. Now that transmission fluid has started to spill out of the fill hole, we will start the car and run it through all the gears a few times. Then turn the car off and come back down and continue filling. Okay, so now we're going to remove the fill plug and continue filling it with fluid. All right, so we've got about five liters in. Now we need to start the car and let it get up to operating temperature, and then we'll come back and fill it up the rest of the way. Okay, so before I can get the car up to operating temperature, I need to fill the cooling system with coolant. So I'm going to attach this tool, pull a vacuum on the cooling system, and then fill it that way. We're at about 24 HGs, or negative 24, and it's not dropping, so there's no leaks. So now let's start to pull the coolant through the tool. Look at that, this thing does not fit. So let's pour the coolant into here, and then we'll just suck it out of there. All right, now let's stick this in here and open the valve. Close it before it starts sucking air and now let's get more coolant. I may not have enough coolant, but I do have some distilled water. So now we're just waiting for the vacuum to get to zero. I may have to top this off a little bit later, but this should be enough for now.
that is done. Now we can actually run the car, get it up to operating temperature, and fill the transmission the rest of the way. Okay, so now the transmission is up to operating temperature. We can continue filling. Now that transmission fluid has started to leak out the fill hole, we are done with the fill procedure. Since we replaced the solenoids and a few seals in the transmission, I wanted to reset the adaption values. We've actually got a couple more heat shields that keep the exhaust heat away from the transmission. So I do want to put these on. It's just two eight millimeters. Alright, let's start it and go for a little test drive. Alright, so we're on our first test drive here. It seems to be shifting fine. I'm going to try and floor it right now and see if it downshifts okay. Oh yeah. Wow, that feels great. The problem before was when you would come to a stop, it would have a hard downshift. So let's see what happens when we come to a stop up here. Feels like it's shifting all the way through all the gears really well. Alright, let's see here. Downshift. Hmm. That's actually fine. Fifth gear, sixth gear, back down to fifth, stays in fifth when you floor it. Feels great. All right, so we just got back from a test drive. The transmission is shifting perfectly. There's no hesitation, there's no slipping, there's no hard shifts. So the test drive went great. I lifted it up just to see if there was anything leaking and there isn't. So no tranny fluid leaking, no coolant leaking, and no oil from that rear main seal that we did. Everything is bone dry down here. That is bone dry. And that is all bone dry. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.